All right, we got five minutes on the clock. What is your name and what is your podcast show? Jay Agner, uh, The First Customer Podcast. The First Customer Podcast. Now, before we hit go and record, we were talking and you're like, man, this is this is kind of stressful and, and this is exciting. And talk to me what's going through your brain before a podcast show, because you told me the magic happens before and after the podcast. Talk to me about that. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, guest selection is huge. Um, I think depending on your goals for the podcast, I think, you know, you want to have certain types of people on. Um, so at first you want to have as many people as you can. And anybody says, yes, you're like, yes, get on the podcast for sure. But like, as you start to develop uh, a goal for what your podcast is actually doing, whether that's educational or whether that's like advertising or sales, whatever it is. Um, I think, you know, honing in on the specific type of guests you want to have on. In my case, uh, I trained up a team to kind of do all the pod match, you know, pod connection stuff. Um, so, you know, we've worked together to kind of change who we're having on to better suit our goals for what the podcasts are. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so good to get the right people in that seat. Cause that's really in podcast world. That's the only thing that you could really control because you can't control what the audience is going to do, but you could, you can control who, who sits in front of you on your podcast show. Right. Now, before you hit record, so you got the right person in the seat and you got them sitting in front of you. What's what happens pre show and where's the magic after the show? My my favorite line uh, is that I do as much homework uh, on my podcast as I did in high school, which is like just enough to pass, right? Like I, I do enough, like right before the show starts, I'll just like kind of do a quick run through. Um, it's how I run the show. It's how I do everything. Like, honestly, like I get on sales calls, I have some idea of what I'm doing, but I like to kind of hear and react and like be in the moment. So uh, I don't do it like a, a ton of homework. I have my list of questions that I've kind of you know, honed over the years. Um, but yeah, once I, you know, right before the show, you know, it's just kind of clearing up, getting ready. And then I click record and I try to make sure that, um, you know, my guest feels like they're the guest of honor, that they're here for a reason because they have expertise and whatever. And it's all genuine for me. Right. So like I go to a conference and I meet somebody, I'm like, you know what, not only are they a great potential lead for my quality assurance business, which, you know, some of this business leads to, um, they're a great, they're a great order. They had control on the stage. You know, people came up to them after and we're talking to them. Like that's the guy I want to, or girl that I want to go up to and say, Hey, my name's Jay. Uh, I run a QA agency, but I also have this podcast called the first customer that I'd love to have you on. And I get them on, um, knowing kind of they're somebody that I want to talk to to begin with, and then follow that into post, um, you know, making sure you use that content as much as you can. Uh, again, we have like our team kind of takes the post production off our plate because, and that's where all good podcasts get to, I think, eventually, just because you have so much content that is, you don't have enough time to go through it. Um, so for post, um, you know, we use Descript, we use a bunch of different tools, we try to make clips, we post them regularly. Um, and the whole goal is to, um, and, and, and I am missing a piece there, which is like all that work that I do to find the right person, to get them on, to talk to them, to build a relationship. I've started to be more direct at the end. You know, after the podcast, we click, you know, stop. Um, I like to be direct now. Before I was, I, I didn't want to alienate people or make them feel like they had just been like part of a, a timeshare pitch that they like weren't aware of or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I will much less aggressively, but um, purposely, just gauge their interest and say like, Hey, you know, what, what are you guys doing for, you know, automated QA? I heard you guys talking about, you know, a bunch of products you build and, you know, I've worked in, with a bunch of those in automated space. Like, what are you guys doing for that? And like, if it's not, if you don't sound like a robot or a sales guy who's slapping the hood of a car trying to get you into this bad boy today, uh, I think, you know, you come across a genuine human being, people will talk to you and they'll set up a call later. I've, I've got multiple discovery calls that came directly from that, you know, purposeful, uh, post, you know, uh, post podcast recording session time frame, and you're in the, the chat for another couple of minutes. So that's been very fruitful for me. I know that was a lot of word salad, but I've only, you know, got 20 <laughs> seconds left. You only had five minutes and that's the, I know, that's my the, gosh. the wonderful joy of this. Well, you did it. There's only 15 seconds left. So what's the name of your podcast show? One more time. The first customer. Yeah. So good. Jay, thanks for showing up. Thanks for sharing the journey. And there's so much gold that happens after you hit stop record. 
if you're willing to build a relationship with people. So we did that all under five minutes, guys. I hope you really enjoy these episodes. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you on the next one.